Good morning. Well, you see the uh, rain it looks like rain on the camera in Devil's Lake, and uh, that is something that is actually a little bit of freezing drizzle slash a little bit of melting snow uh, that has been falling in that area and reported at the airport in Devil's Lake this morning. So this is something that is a concern because our temperatures are below freezing in this area. So uh, this is one location where we're having some trouble as far as travels concern this morning. Morning. We've got some freezing drizzle or a light mix, and then there is also some dense fog in spots, creating some low visibility. So caution needed this morning for sure as you're hitting the roads this morning in Devil's Lake and around the valley. And then we might get a nice little break this afternoon as temperatures rise, uh, but there will still be some areas of precipitation. And then heading into this evening uh, for the evening drive, we'll be running into some issues with rain taking over. So here's a look at our latest road conditions. A reminder, you can check these and uh, get the latest reports on the VNL weather app for the entire tri-state area. Right now we've got a lot of yellow here in northeastern North Dakota and that is what is called ice for the uh, hashed areas. That means patchy ice on some of the roads. So very slick in Devil's Lake potentially. And then in the deeper blue colors, that's where we're looking at wet roads being reported. If our temperatures drop a little bit more, it might become more icy in those spots. Southeastern North Dakota in the green, meaning typical for the season, but that doesn't mean it's completely perfect out there either in that area. So again, wet roads to some icy roads right now in North Dakota and Minnesota. A similar situation where we've got a few roads here where the DOT is indicating either patchy ice or ice covered roads. But uh, that'll become a little more substantial as we go through time this morning because the moisture is still yet to move into some of these areas. But you can see on the radar a little bit of rain in green here showing up on the map. In the pink colors, that's the radar depicting that there may be freezing rain happening and then over in Devil's Lake again the light blue to purple that's either a mix to some light snow detected on the radar very light and you can see it's not necessarily widespread but it may fill in a little bit more as it lifts northward and that compounds the issue with the fog and the low visibility too. Langdon currently at zero for visibility we're at a half mile in Carrington and in Cooperstown Southern Valley some of us out east are experiencing some low visibility Bemidji Park Rapids at one mile uh, and then over over to the west, Gwinner at zero. We're at a quarter mile in Valley City and more areas in southeastern North Dakota also experiencing some of that fog. So taking a look at our winds, they are out of the east. We're looking at winds that are uh, 5 to 15 miles per hour. Temperatures ranging from 30 in Devil's Lake to 37 in Fargo. So again, some of us below freezing, some of us above. Check that temperature on the VNL weather app when you get a chance, uh, just so you know what you're dealing with when you're hitting the road this morning. And even if you're above freezing, may still be slick on the road surface. So looking at our hour by hour planner, expect to see isolated areas of rain lifting northward. Again, a little bit more of a mix over in Devil's Lake. This is very light. It's more drizzle than rain in a lot of places. This is noon. Warm front is moving in, so we've got warm air pushing in behind this. Check out these temperatures this afternoon, 40 to upper 40s for your highs for most areas with the exception over into the north and west. And that's where we may have a little more of a mix still going on in that area. The wind picks up heading into tonight and watch what happens. We see that rain start to fill in. It becomes more substantial and this is when the heart of that system starts to take over overnight and into Thursday morning. We'll be dealing with rain to start and then comes that transition to snow through the day on Thursday. So we're going to be focusing on that throughout the morning and of course as we move through the rest of the week. And your forecast is sponsored by Innovative Basement Authority. It just keeps getting worse. The crack keeps growing. The doors and windows stick. This must be very frustrating. Almost no one connects that these are telltale signs that water is shifting your foundation. But it's okay. We got it. Oh, this is done growing in this house. Okay. The effects of water can be surprising. But at Innovative Basement Authority, we'll do a complete home inspection for free. So here's a look at that extended planner today. Very warm, a high of 48, still on the gloomy side. We'll have some showers out there. Uh, drizzle more likely, but it becomes more substantial tonight as we just saw on our forecast model there. And then throughout the day on Thursday, we'll see that changeover happen to some snow and that continues into Friday. And that will add up to a couple of inches of snow. We'll get into more details on that uh, coming up a little later this morning. In the wake of this, some flurries lingering on Saturday. Uh, temperatures much cooler. We go from 45 Thursday to 30 on Friday, so we'll see those areas of moisture freeze up and 
While the snow will melt initially in some areas because of the warmer temperatures, eventually it will start to accumulate. And then heading into the weekend and next week, that cool down continues. A reminder, our average high is 20 degrees in Fargo today. So uh, we'll be a little closer to average, but generally speaking, still above average. That's just how warm we've been. What a funny reminder. By yeah. the way, <laughs> it only feels so bad because we've been so spoiled with this exactly. mild winter. I think I just feel like we need to tell ourselves yeah. that, that, you know, this has been unusual right. and, you know, it, it, this is not an Arctic outbreak right. coming our way. Right. Yeah. <laughs> not an Arctic out outbreak. No polar vortex yeah. coming. Yeah. Not right now. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Not knocking on wood. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. You, Lisa. Yeah. Thanks, Lisa.